What's up everyone, Michael here with a channel update. Haven't done one of these in a while and I thought it may as well because I have some changes on the way or changes that have already been happening and basically I'm kind of solidifying what's going to be happening with these changes today. So basically this video is going to mark where this ends up beginning. So the big news is I'm basically moving to a daily release schedule uh, as an overview. I'm going to be doing some visual changes which I've already had in swing since December and so basically most of the visual changes are already done. So we're not going to see too much difference from that happening, but regardless, that is happening, as well as some sort of tonal shifts and things. And then also, I'm going to be making the impression series a weekly series. Topic videos are going to be released as they can, and I'm basically going to be using Let's Play videos to fill out the rest of the week slots. And so basically, my sister has been complaining that I haven't made Minecraft videos yet, and so basically I'm... The first Let's Play stuff I'm doing is on Minecraft. I already have some of it recorded and have an idea. We follow Mr. Fluffykins in an adventure to build a castle. So if you're interested in that, then go ahead and check it out when it releases. That should be released whenever there's not a topic video. Basically, they're going to be filler type of stuff. Just, just stuff to add some variety to the channel because I don't want everything to be serious. So let's go ahead and talk about the first kind of tonal change. One, I'm going to be trying to make the channel a little bit more on the fun side of things. Um, obviously, I always try to have fun and I'm a fun-loving guy. And so I'm always trying to be playful and things like that the podcast was very much in this sort of we're talking about news and stuff like that but it was always sort of a kind of hangout session and that's kind of how i'm going to be doing a lot of this type of stuff and so basically i'm switching from a sort of i'm super professional to being you know i'm professional but also kind of playful and everything like that and just making things generally more fun i feel like that's going to be a benefit to everyone on the channel and just make people smile every once in a while because I do enjoy making people smile. So that's going to be one of the tonal shifts. And that also goes into the graphic style shift. Most of those have already changed. So I'm changing the thumbnails a little bit and the way that I do them. I changed some of my uh, platform specific type stuff like my thumbnails and things have been changed in the way that I build them. And yeah, there's just a bunch of basic changes that goes in there. But the long story short is that I went from being white and black to being black and white, which doesn't sound like a lot. But for an artist term, basically, I went from a white slate style that was mostly aimed at looking like a professional sort of website, very clean and cut, you know, clean cut sort of design. Now I'm going towards more of a black board style thing to where, you know, I'm mixing in a black with a bunch of colors and things like that. And so... That's kind of how I went. The new outro is already in the videos and stuff like that, so you can end up looking at the style from there, and that's kind of the whole shift. It's not really that different, but it is different enough that I may as well mention it, because I worked hard on it, so there you go. Now, other types of news. Um, podcast is dead, and so we'll go ahead and mention that the broken chat box is basically just done with. The idea of it was that I was going to do it for a bunch of collaborations, and I just can't do it anymore, basically. I'm not getting people to work with me and I can't get people like new people on the show constantly enough and I end up having to change the format so I can end up doing it solo. And then I started doing topic videos and I was like, all right, well, now there's no point to doing the podcast by myself because I've already said all my thoughts within my topic videos. And I'm like, all right, you know what? We're just going to we're just going to throw it down, at least for now. I'm It might return in the future. I don't know necessarily what it's going to be. And the broken chat box is still a community, so you can end up joining the Discord link in the description. So if you want to end up doing that. You can. Also, other news, I've launched my Patreon, or rather relaunched my Patreon. I used to have a Patreon for a game project that I'd launched a long time ago, and I ended up slightly building a team, and I had like four people working on it. And then, long story short, everyone left the project before a month was finished, and then I was by myself again. I'm like, all right, well, and I made some promises, and I wasn't able to fill, fulfill those promises, so I ended up fairly swiftly just canceling it down within two months. And so, basically... It was not something that was fairly successful for me, so I'm not expecting it to be successful now, but it is there if you want to end up supporting. It does support more than just my YouTube channel. It also supports my game modding scene and my illustrations and the more game projects that I end up doing. I am working on one solo. I ended up changing up that project I was talking about, and now it is a 2D game rather than a full 3D game, and it has a lot of different sort of shifts around being more simplistic that I can end up finishing on my own. So if you're interested in that stuff, definitely check out my Patreon. So... It's a. Uh, I know people hate the whole self shill thing, and I know I'm not a channel that has constant viewership, and so launching a Patreon probably sounds ridiculous. But that's something that I know in the future, if I ever want to get successful in this whole YouTube space, in this content creation space, then I'm gonna need a Patreon or some way for fans to help me along the way, because YouTube is only becoming more and more difficult to become financially viable with, and so even people that have large audiences need Patreon to survive. And I don't necessarily live a very expensive life, and so if funding my living isn't necessarily difficult it's the funding everything else that is difficult such as buying new games to do impressions reviews of because i can't get review keys or paying for let's say new hardware i'm still using a blue snowball which i've had to use a lot of kind of software magic to end up making it sound all right but you'll notice in some of my videos there's popping there's clipping there's 
a bunch of ugly stuff that I've tried really, really hard to fix, and I feel like my audio is in a decent spot, but once again, like, having a Patreon being able to help fund all that type of stuff would definitely assist. So if you want to end up supporting what I'm doing, I'm not making any promises on it or anything like that, and the rewards are fairly basic. I haven't finalized what they're going to be. I haven't even launched it at the time of this recording, but it is going to be launched tonight, and so basically it's going to be going up in the morning or whatever, so... Yeah, that's where that is. So I apologize for people that don't like people to launch Patreon. That's just something that I'm going to have there. I'm not expecting anybody to support it. But if you do want to support it, you like what I do and you want to give me some, you know, extra support and stuff like that, I would definitely appreciate at least looking at it, you know, at least give out the word because I am somebody who is trying to be successful in this whole YouTube content creation thing. And I know it's not going to be possible without fan support. So thank you guys for anybody that does end up supporting it. Thank you a lot. And obviously I'll have some something for you guys. I don't I don't know what it is yet and I'm not going to make any promises, but there we go. Now into content. Basically, impressions reviews, they're not changing. They're basically going to be exactly the way they have been. I'm changing up the way I do the kind of conclusions a little bit. I was originally doing it in a style to where people had suggested me to do, to where like do it like other reviews do and just kind of go over everything that you went over. I'm not going to do that anymore. Like screw that. I think the way that I did it in the Neptunia review, like Neptunia V2 review did fairly well. I think that I rambled a little bit too much because I always ramble, but I feel like it was fairly decent in that video alone. And so basically I'm going to be going towards more that style and the style that you saw within my assault android cactus review which you have if you haven't checked that one out please do because it is actually a fairly decent video and so yeah um those two videos are kind of like where i'm headed with the series so if you haven't watched any of that that is where i'm going to be headed with that series and it's mostly unchanged they're still going to be really long form so i apologize for people that don't like long videos but that's kind of the idea as i go over every mechanic that i possibly can as in depth as i possibly can and sort of show you guys whether you would like the game rather than my own opinions and that's why my other conclusion style that people were recommending me do which was in the other reviews that i was doing um wasn't really working because it was more based on like oh, i think this is a good game it's like Nobody cares if I think it's a good game. I think they care if they think it's a good game. And that's that's where I want to head with that. And that's where I've always kind of based my impression series is based on whether you guys would like it or not. So that's where that's headed. Topic videos. Topic videos are going to be basically out as soon as they possibly can. And I'm going to be splitting it up into two series. And so there's going to be the normal topic videos, which is going to be focusing on one news topic and being like, hey, this is what this is. This is what that is. And yada yada and those are going to be made more short form so no longer are those going to be like 20 minutes long unless it's a topic i'm extremely passionate about sometimes i'll end up going a little bit longer but for the most part i'm going to be doing it so that it's kind of a shorter style series to where it's like yeah five to ten minutes at the most just kind of going over what's going on in that sort of topic and stuff like that so that's that's where that's going and then the other style that i'm going to is going to be more along the lines of this is uh, sort of design view stuff and so this is going to be a series called design view and sorry i stuttered there i don't know why but my brain just completely trailed but regardless um i was trying to figure out what level to play and i just completely blanked the way that i'm doing that is i'm kind of splitting off into a design view series which is a series that i worked on for a really really long time and i never released anything from it because i could never really figure out exactly where i wanted to go with it and i think how i'm going to do it is i'm going to split the topic videos into two types so it's going to be the news ones which are going to be really short and then design view is going to be a really long form discussion based on game industry specific stuff and so like let's say um the recent example that i can make out or one that was fairly close was the one of why do mobile games suck and so basically that would be a design style or design view style video to where i'm not only going to be doing like gameplay and stuff like that but i'm also going to be like throwing up photoshop like in that video i threw up photoshop and i was like hey here's some examples and actually did like physical representations i talked a lot more about the industry and what it meant to the industry in general rather than just the consumer side of things and just the news aspects like there was no news in that video it was mostly just talking about the industry and so that's what design view is going to be and i'm simplifying the series from my original plans but i think that it's going to be end up being one of my more enjoyable series to create because I love talking about the industry. So that's where that's going. And then also to fill out every single slot that I don't have a topic or design view video for, I'm going to basically be doing Let's Plays. And my sister has been asking me to do Minecraft videos for a really long time. And I'm like, you know what, fine. I'll make some Minecraft videos. And so I've been working on a series right now. We follow Mr. Fluffykins and his quest to build a castle. So if you want to end up seeing that, there you go. It's, it's mostly just going to be for fun and add a little bit more variety and personality to my channel. It's it's not necessarily recommended to change up content all the time, like have a bunch of different styles of content on a channel. But quite frankly, I think that 
Oh wow. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought I would. I thought I just died. But regardless, like I feel like that's something that I enjoy doing let's plays, and I kind of made the podcast my let's play fix. But at the same time, I've been trying to do collaborations, and I've done a few, but none of them have actually like released. And that mostly comes down to other people. They're like, oh well, I was doing this, and like, oh, I'm not gonna release it. Never mind. I'm like, all right, whatever, man. And so. You know, I kind of like having Let's Play style content out there. And originally I was going to focus my channel mostly on professional stuff because I had another channel I was collaborating with that was nothing but Let's Plays, which was called the Classy Cast. And unfortunately, they're not making videos anymore. And so basically that whole idea kind of fell apart. So yeah, I'm moving the Let's Play stuff to my own channel. And so basically that'll pop up here and there. I might do some collaborations, might not. I don't, I don't know where it's going to go. And so we'll just see as it goes. But yeah, that's going to be me for this whole channel update. I mean, if there's anything else you guys want to know about, then definitely let me know. And definitely do check out the Patreon if you like my style of content and you think I'm moving in the right direction. I'm not, I'm not expecting anybody to support it, and I'm definitely not going to rely on it. And I'm definitely, most definitely, not making any promises on it. But if you do end up supporting me, do keep in mind that it helps me get new games to review. It helps me, you know, kind of make sure that all my software and hardware keeps up to date. And it definitely helps with literally everything that I do on this channel. It's, it, you know, it is financially expensive to do these style of videos. I have a quality in the sort of capture that I have that's much more above everyone else on a literally zero sum budget. And so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things there. If I want to be successful, I'm going to have to rely on it a little bit more, which is unfortunate because I don't necessarily like crowdfunding, but at the same time, I understand its viability. And for people that do enjoy my content, hopefully, you know, you guys can end up supporting it and making it better because I will only improve the more resources that I have. And so, yeah. So thank you to anybody that ends up even checking it out. I'm extremely appreciative. And yeah, that's that's me. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have the outro slate for that entire bit because I don't know what that was. That was my rambling. I don't know why. I need to change up the way I do my outros. So I'm trying to do a little bit less of the rambling on the outro style stuff. I am I just love to ramble, I've noticed. Um, this is a problem with me in general. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this video. You're probably already subscribed. If you're not, then I don't know why you're watching this video. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> hopefully the gameplay in the background wasn't too terrible. And hopefully you end up checking out my future content. If you're looking for content to check out, you can check out my most recent review of Assault Android Cactus, which is a top-down shooter sort of action game. It is actually incredibly fun. It's a nice little score attack title. So if you enjoy those type of style games, definitely check out that review. I also did one for Mega Dimension V2, which is, or Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, which is a JRPG, and it's actually fantastic. One of my favorite games of all time. And so you can end up checking that one out as well. I obviously talk about the mechanics and I don't just say, this is my favorite game of all time and end the video there. No, I definitely go along and talk about every single mechanic like I do for every impressions review that I do. And so, yeah, I end up checking that out if you are in to JRPGs. You can also check out my other topic videos, which will be releasing more consistently. Um, my most recent one was not particularly great. I kind of went on a rant about paid DLC because I talked about how The Legend of Zelda is going to be having DLC. So if you're interested in my stuff, that is going to be the last video in that style. And so it's kind of be going to be a keystone portion, but the rest of them are going to be very much more simplified and sort of in a style to where I talk more about the news rather than the topics at hand. And I mean, some people might enjoy that bit more and then some people might enjoy the industry discussion stuff, which that will be called Design View from now on. I'm also dropping the vlog um, branding on it. I don't know why it was called vlog in the first place, but there you go. Like I started the series as like, this is what I'm doing and this is what is happening that I care about. And I don't really necessarily do that. I just talk about stuff. And so <laughs> there you go. I don't know, maybe that is a video blog. Maybe I just don't understand what video blogs are, but regardless, I'm removing that branding from it. So it's just topics and design view now. So there you go. I don't know. Now I'm rambling. And so I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the support and everything like that. Everyone that's been watching my videos, you know, everyone has had really positive feedback and really, really useful comments. And so I thank you guys for that. You know, it's, it's rare to see people in the comments being like, hey, this is this is some feedback. And, you know, it's really, really nice to see all that. So definitely give me feedback on this video and all my other videos as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. I didn't talk about streaming. Eh, whatever.